Hey everybody, welcome to the Make Code Arcade live stream. I'm Shannon, I'm at Chacao on the Make Code Forums. I'm Joey, at J Wonderl on the Make Code Forums. Oh, I guess I'm Richard, um, at Richard on the Make Code Forums. And I'm Vivian, oh, at Lip Triple on the Make Code Forums. <laughs> Vivian O? You're Vivian O now? <laughs> yeah, 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 you, you can just call me Vivian O. Vivian's branded cereal. Um, cool. So it's just, you guys... just one big O. <laughs> um, you guys may notice we're doing something slightly different today because it's Friday. Um, Vivian had an idea that we could demonstrate um, aspects of the story extension by each making like a, a presentation. So like a PowerPoint presentation using the story extension um, in Arcade. So we're each going to make a presentation about a topic of our own choosing. And then at the end, we're going to deliver that presentation to you guys yeah and we're gonna be using so um like shannon said we're gonna be using the new story extension which you can get um now from the default list of extensions in the extension thing so you used to have to go like you know find it now you don't cool yeah so click extension scroll to the bottom click arcade story um and you get these blocks all right so are we sharing our topics or yeah, I think that's important. <laughs> Does everybody have topics? Uh, okay, well, I'll go first since I think I'm the only one who has a topic. <laughs> um, um, my my topic is um, going to be uh, uh, tarts, the dessert. Um, and there's there's a reason for that, which is um, today we usually do a movie club on Fridays on the Make Code team. This is a peek behind the Make Code curtain. Um, <laughs> But today we're actually going. We decided to switch things up and do a um, uh, a, a dessert club. So everyone got a tart, and we're going to be talking about our tarts and how we feel about them. Um, and so I thought, you know, it would, be, it would be good to have some some tart information that I could present. I've done no research though, and I'm not going to be doing any. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I just came up with my idea. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be presenting on how to have a pet duck. You know, you need to feed a pet duck and other qualities about owning a duck. I don't know anything about it. Yeah. Also, I guess, guys, if you're doing research, we should probably make sure that we don't do it in the browser so it doesn't stream. Oh. Oh, yeah. I have many tabs. Don't worry. So the, the least <laughs> amount of research you can do, the better. Oh, okay. I think so. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No research. <laughs> Okay, I think tentatively I'm gonna do mine about rivers. Um, I guess we'll see. I love that. Mm, okay. I guess I'll do types of blankets. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> types of blankets. This is incredible. Okay. I'm excited. Who wants to share first? We'll do it in quarters. Every 15 mm. minutes, I'll switch. Um, um, I can go first. Okay, Richard, you're first. All right. Well, as you can see, I'm drawing a character. This character is going to be basically guarding, guiding the, um, uh, you know, viewer through the world of tarts. And um, as as such, his name is the Cart Tart Griffer. <laughs> Car Tart Gruff Gruffer, like a cartographer, but with tarts. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I didn't get that one, Richard. Can you repeat? Can you explain it? <laughs> it's the cartographer because it's like a it's like a combination of the words cartographer and tart. Do you get it, Joey? Mm. Mm. Okay. Do you get it, Joey? Yeah, I got. It. I got. It. I get. It. Guys, do we think Joey got it? Because it doesn't sound like it doesn't um, sound confident. I it's have, like I cartographer have... and tart. Say say it again, Richard. I think you should you just say it again. Can you say um, it slower? Cartographer, cartographer. Okay, it's tart. It's cartographer, and it's tart. Okay, I, got, I think maybe I got it. All right. Don't, don't worry, you'll get it when you're older. Oh, okay. 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 So right now, you know, I'm drawing this character in his little explorer getup. Um, give him some buttons. Um, and, um, 
yeah, okay. I think this is good for now. I might come back and edit this later. Um, and we're also going to be doing a oh, tile map Shannon's. because I thought I, I thought this presentation would be fun. Oh wait, are you not actually showing mine? Sorry, it's on yours now. Okay, well this is the cartographer. Um, and so I'm going to be. Uh, I don't like these buttons. I I think they're going to be like walking through the world of tarts that's going to have different exhibits, kind of like Jurassic Park. Um, so. Yeah, that's that's basically my concept. Um, so there's going to be different exhibits within this um, tart tart world. Um, I think that my main ones that I'm thinking right now is there's going to be a pie world, and it's going to be about the dangers of pies, how pies are evil, why you don't want to eat a pie, um, because pies, as we know, are completely separate from tarts. There's no overlap. Everyone, no overlap? No overlap stream, at all? Everyone on this stream knows and has always known that a tart is not a pie. Well, you, a Richard, I'm, I'm willing to concede that they are different, but I wouldn't go so far as to say that there's zero overlap between the two. What about their shape? You know, if you put one over the other, they'd be completely overlapping because they are the same shape. I mean, I just don't know if I'm going to be able to explain it to you, Vivian. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, just kidding. Vivian, as the only person who has made tarts, probably knows more about tarts than all of us now. That's true. Because wh whereas the rest of us bought tarts, Vivian actually made hers, which is crazy. I, I like awesome. the idea that I can lord it over you guys. You know, this will really yeah. encourage me to make everything else. Mm -hmm. You you mm -hmm. definitely can. You should. Excellent. My um, favorite. But the only reason I was saying that I wouldn't be able to explain it is because you just feel so set in your ways with pies, you know? <laughs> Me? Yeah. I think I've changed. Or, I think last week I was on tarts and pies are the same, but this week I'm on, okay, they're different. Yeah. That's character development for you. That is character development. I got to give it up. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do um, a, a floor now, and I think it's going to be kind of like a... Um, a tile floor. So we'll just do a simple, um, like, four tiles. Um, and also want to do a border on these guys so that it's not just a square. Um, and I'm forgetting what colors I used for my experience. My, my cartographer so I'm going to um, just hope that I didn't use this purple <laughs> you used pink and you used a purple and you used tan and an orange and a brown cool okay I think I'm going to clear then all right ugh ugh That's a little bit better. Um, all right. So um, I'm also going to want some velvet ropes that the exhibits are going to be behind, obviously. <laughs> um, but I might use sprites for those. So um, let's talk about our, our, our exhibits. Um, I think that um, we're going to have Pie Land be like in the top left so that it's kind of like you're walking... No, Pyland should be at the beginning because I want to start you out with tarts, you know? Hmm. I don't want you to have to. Yeah, you want to put your best food food forward. Yeah. I'm wondering maybe if I should do like a green palette. Yeah, I like that. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and make a new tile now. Um, I'm thinking that... For one exhibit, we're just going to have a giant tart. Um, and maybe it's going to be easier to do this with sprites. So I'm going to switch to, to sprites now. Mm. Oh, no, his pants blend in. I'll change the pant color. 
Let's make sure we can move them. Well, no, actually, we're not going to have them move. They're going to be moving just as part of the story. So let's start with our story stuff. Um, I think that basically we're going to have our um, um, cartographer introduce themselves first. So let's drag out some dialogue. Oh, yeah, I didn't really think of how I'm going to integrate the story extension in yet. So, okay, we got, hello there. It's so wonderful to see you today. I hope you're excited. It's not every day you get to visit. Oh, this is an important moment. Ah, it's just going to be Tart World for now. Good tart names are there? I guess there's tar tar Tartarus, Tartarus. <laughs> that kind of a menacing vibe. <laughs> what are the dimensions of a PowerPoint slide? I don't know. Um, 10 by 3. I feel like that's a lie, but I'm not going to question. <laughs> All right, we're going to switch to blue jeans. Um, okay, now we want to have them walk over to their first um, exhibit. And this exhibit, I think, is going to be like just a, a big old tart. So let's go ahead and do 32 by 32. Um, we're going to use our circle tool. Um, and let's go ahead and draw out that crust. Okay, now the crust is a very important aspect of a tart. Doesn't cover it, it just goes around the edges. And it's going to be a short crust, not flaky. Can be flaky though, I guess if you if you count a galette. And yeah, there is going to be a galette exhibit, everybody. I know you're wondering. <laughs> um, Richard, what's a galette? Um, so a galette is kind of like a subset of tarts, but it has kind of a flakier crust. And generally, they're more like I guess the the word I constantly saw associated with them was rustic. Ooh. Like, yeah. Like they're more they're more like something you would make at home as opposed to like a tart is something you usually get from a bakery unless you're Vivian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, okay, so next, once we have the the tart crust, um, yeah, so it's got like a flakier thing and like the, the crust folds inwards to slightly cover the stuff that's inside, but not all the way. Otherwise it would be a pie. And, you know, we don't like to talk about pies. Mm -hmm. Okay. We've got our tart crust, and we are putting now um, the uh, custard inside. Um, and we're going to put in a little bit of shading so that it, we got a little bit of, um, it looks like the uh, tart is a, a little bit 3D. Like this is, this is, this is going to be the, the crust kind of coming in, um, dropping down a little bit, because we're looking at it like, you know, from that perspective. Um, and I'm also going to do that down here so that it's got some height to it. Oh, should we switch? I feel like, okay, Richard, you get, you have one minute left before we switch over. So, you know, say your piece. All right. I'm going to finish up this tart and then I will happily, um, okay. give the, give the camera away. Give the floor. Yeah.
Joey, do you want to talk a little bit about your tart journey? Um, it was a very upsetting journey. Um, so first I went to a bakery because I figured like if anywhere had it, it would be a bakery that sells like cakes and stuff. And then they were, I got there and they were like, what are you, what's this weird thing you're talking about? Like, why are you being the way that you are? Why would you want a tart? So then I was like, oh, well, that's weird. What? So I went to another cake bakery and basically the same thing happened. It was bizarre. And so then I was like, am I just, did I forget that tarts don't actually exist and this is all just a cruel joke? Uh, so I went to Walmart and they had, they had tarts listed there. They had tarts available, but then they were sold out, which is weird because you'd think that the bake shop would realize that there was this tart deficiency going on. Um, so then I went to Safeway and they had tarts and I bought them from Safeway. Thank you for sharing that. I know that must have been difficult for you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right now we're doing kiwi because that is a common topping of tarts, and I like kiwis. Ew. Uh. Get out of here. <laughs> I hate kiwis. Richard, I have a story extension question. Um, yeah. The, okay, so you can't have two sprites move at the same time anymore? No, uh, you can do it with a separately do, but yeah. Ah, okay, cool. I will do the separately do. Thank you. <laughs> Um, and give it a little bit of shading. I'm realizing now that the topping is going to take a while, so if you want to switch over, Vivian, go ahead. Oh, okay. You know, this will be, you know, if you want to know what Richard's chart looks like in the end, stay tuned for the final presentation. Um, next up, we have Shannon. Shannon, over to you. <gasps> what a good time to tune in. <laughs> Cool. Um, so I'm doing a title screen, and I suspect that's like about all I'm going to get done today. <laughs> um, but we're we're using the story extension. So I have um, I have a boat, and then I have these sprites that are the um, different sides of the river, the near and far banks. Um, so I'm first going to have the boat move over, and then I'm going to have the river sprites move. So it looks like the boat is in the center of the screen while the river is moving. Um, and then the title will come in with the other river um, sprites. This is based off, if you've seen Vivian's hit game, Catch Some Fish, um, it has a very cool title sequence where the camera pans down and then the words come in um, and it looks extremely good. Um, so cool. So we have this move to, so you can see the boat is moving to this position. Um, and then I'm going to grab another move to, and I have this near bank variable, which is this like the dirt that's close to you. Um, and I'm going to move it to <laughs> the, so I'm gonna keep the Y position the same. So near bank, Y position. Um, and I'm going to move the X um, to, I'm just gonna put some numbers in, 50. Um, let's see. Oh, that's too much. That's so much. Gosh, the, the bright purple really mellows out the blue if you, I mean, really mellows <laughs> out if you put it next to blue. Mm -hmm. um, so something you'll notice is that I'm putting these two in order, these two move to blocks, and they happen in the order that they're um, placed in the code. So first the boat moves and then the bank moves. Um, and that's because of a change Richard made. So you don't need to use the Q story part anymore. Um, and... I think I should just make this sprite longer. Oh yeah, awesome. Um, and then in a separately do, so I actually want both of these sprites to move at the same time. I'm going to do the um, exact same thing, but with the um, far bank variable. So let's take a look at this. Mm, okay, they need to both be in separately do's.
Perfect. Awesome. Cool. And then this other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, a scene effect. Um, we don't use screen effects very often, um, but there's a lot of good ones. There is um, a clouds one. Let me see. Ooh. Oh, yeah, perfect. Um, and then after all of this, I'm going to have the rivers title come up. Mm, should I make this a different color? I think if I make it dark blue, it will be easier to read against the clouds. Okay. And then I think actually if I just move the sprite creation below this text, um, has uh, moved. Yeah, beautiful. Set title um, Y to, so right now the Y is 60. I'm going to move it up a little bit. All right. Cool. Mm, write it as separately. Okay, so then I want after all of this, I'm just gonna do a cutscene. I think that will do what I want it to do. No, it's showing up too soon. Um. Oh, I just want it after the. Um, so I put it in one of these separately dues. So after it's done moving, it'll. Um, Cool. Perfect. Uh, then uh, I'm going to have the boat say some things. So I'm going to do a pause for like two seconds to like read the title, and then I'm going to destroy the title. Um, destroy title. Hey, Shannon, what's yours about again? Mine's about rivers. Oh, cool. OK, so everything moves. Title comes up. Pause. Perfect. Um, so I put all of this movement into a cutscene. Um, so it all happens at the same time. Um, or I guess if I put multiple separately do's inside a cutscene, um, is that is that the correct thing to do, Richard? You you can do that, but it won't wait for them to end. You know, you, you want to do a pause to make yeah. sure that you mm -hmm. continue at the right time. You know. Okay. I don't need the cutscene, then I just need a big pause. moving yeah you can think of cutscene as just a run in background because that's I... mostly what it is it's just a run in background with some fancy stuff around canceling and that's it i see i see okay cool all right so this pause down here is just to wait for these um separately dues to finish before moving on to the code down here. Cool. Let's see. And then I'm going to have the boat say some things. Oh, actually, what I'm going to use choices. What can a boat have to say that we want to hear? <laughs> Boats know things about rivers. That's true. You're right. <laughs> they do live there, I guess. Or at a dock. <laughs> All 
All right. Um, and then I think I'm probably going to do um, some kind of debugging thing so that I don't have to wait, so that I don't have to wait um, for all of this stuff to happen. Cool. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I feel like this text disappears very quickly after um, it's said. So I think I can use the set page pause button. Um, I'm just going to add a longer pause at the end. Cool, perfect. Um, so you can see the text waits a little bit before uh, finishing. All right, and then I have this show player choices, um, which brings up the little menu thing. Um, and in the next section, I'm gonna check what the player's answer was. So last answer equals. Um, and if you said no thanks, then we are just going to end the presentation. Um, <laughs> game over. Game over lose because you didn't learn anything about um, rivers. I think yeah, I think I think it makes sense that it's a lose. <laughs> um. Cool. Thanks. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful. Um let's see. I think I guess I'll just keep making these sprites bigger. OK, so if it's no thanks, otherwise we'll just keep going inside this this big on start that I'm doing. Um, oh, actually. OK. Um, I'm going to try and switch to like, like a different scene. Um, so I'm going to destroy all of these sprites. Um, and they're all players, which is convenient for me. For element. So I'm going to go through every player sprite. and destroy it. And then I'm going to make some new sprites for the next um, slide in our presentation. Uh, cool. All right. Um, Awesome. OK, and then I'm going to stop the screen effect and also change the background color. Um, Vivian, it is also 1.30. Oh, yeah, Shannon, do you want a minute to wrap up, or should we should we change? Oh, I think I'm at a good stopping point, actually. I okay. finished the first thing, so. <laughs> nice. I don't know if it was good or not, because I'm very focused on my presentation. <laughs> so um, let's switch over to Joey's. Joey, you're live. What's up? Oh, OK. Well, I can. Start with what I got so far. So I got just do a demo. So I'm starting my presentation. Oh, oh, oh. blanket facts. <laughs> um, so like all good presentations, it has to fade to black, and then it fades back to normal color, uh, and it introduces the speaker. So the speaker gives the introduction of what we're doing. And that's way too long of a wait, but I can cut that later. Um, now I got, I'm drawing this part. So I'm drawing the first slide in my presentation. Okay, so let's get back to it. Um, let's cut this one down to three seconds. So, important part of presentations is all the big graphics you gotta draw, right? 
That's the most important part. Um, otherwise, what are you even looking at? You're just looking at a bunch of words. So, I'm drawing, drawing, drawing. So I'm drawing bed. But what's on this bed? Nothing. Okay. She so got a blanketless bed right now, which is very sad. So we got to pause for a second. Maybe we should be on beta if I'm doing background images the whole time. Oh. Nah. You can switch beta if you want. Do I trust? Yeah, I do trust. It. What do you mean, do you trust, Joey? It's today. We just tested it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. Uh, so, secret fun fact. What are we doing later today, guys? We're shifting. We're releasing. We're we're doing Shannon's presentation. Yeah, let's go do this just because you have a boat in yours. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> we're boating it. Yeah, Shannon, we all got that immediately. We definitely weren't wondering what Vivian meant. Really? <laughs> I said choo choo. <laughs> what was the confusion? Okay. Well, let's switch to beta real quick and see how fast that goes. Um, so if we switch to beta, that's what we might be releasing later. And why would switching to beta go better with background images? You made them better. So Shannon. Fast. Shannon, unbroken. Maybe I should be on beta, just for you now. Confidence. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, chat has a question, which is, would you recommend getting something like a game go? If so, which one should I get? Mm. Lots of good ones. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's a the, uh... great question to ask on our on our um, forum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then we can give all the descriptions. Well, if you have something also, you know, go ahead, Dewey. Oh, I was just going to show you. I have the Pi Gamer right here. That's a fun one because uh, it's got a little uh, directional pad. Red. You know, and a Meow Bit. I like the Meow Bit because it's cute. Yeah, but we, we have a lot of them, and they're all really great. Um, so. Yeah, speedy open. Okay. So, I need to do duplicate this, pause in between. So at first we show somebody laying in bed without a blanket. And that's just sad, right? Poor soul. And uh -huh. then they, they grow a blanket and it is a happy time. It is a joyous occasion. Joey, so after your presentation, will I have like a good knowledge to be able to buy my own blankets? A smart blanket? Uh, I, I believe you could. I believe. Hmm. Uh, it might not be after today's, but after okay. an eventual presentation, like we got to work on this pitch for a little while. Okay, that makes sense. You know, Rome wasn't built in one day. Uh, so what kind of pajamas would somebody without a blanket wear? Probably ones with an unhappy face on them. True. So we got to draw a neck. Okay. Then we draw pajamas. Oh. 
So, Joey, I'm curious, why did you choose this? I was thinking about uh, about blankets and all the cool types you could have. Um, so there's the, like the well, I guess I'm giving spoilers, aren't I, on the presentation? Um, but I'm not going to get to drawing them all today. Like there's the ones that with the desks, where you have a desk and you have a oh. blanket on the side. You just like are underneath the desk, right? And then there's like ones you can wrap yourself in. I even watched a show recently where the one of the main characters is just walking around town wrapped in a futon all the time. It seemed pretty comfy. Um, and and you have so many yeah. iconic characters with blankets. You know. Mm -hmm. Just a great time. Um, so how do I draw an unhappy face on here too? Okay. Oops. Um, so the most important part about good pixel art, I think, is showing the correct emotion, right? You got to make your audience feel something. Uh -huh. And when I want the audience to see right here is that they should be a little sad, just a little sad for this person because they don't have a blanket on and they are upset. But that will quickly go away. Now they get a happy face. Okay. Hmm. So do I want to do a color fade in here? So in the intro, I was using the color fading extension to have a fade to black. Like you have a, for a, you know, normal presentation, right? You do the intro thing and it, it like fades you in so you can be all ominous and, and cool looking. Um, any other kind of fading that's important for, for presentations, PowerPoints like this? For fading? I mean, there's fading in between slides, but that might be a bit tougher. You could go fade to black and then fade out. There's the yeah. sliding, you know, you, you slide in from the right. Um. Ooh. <laughs> and I'm drawing these as background in the, There's uh, the I guess barn door. I mean, I assume you what? already put in the sprite art, right? Huh? Uh, yeah. I mean the sorry word art. Oh, um, I'm getting there. That's that's an ambitious little chunk of work. I need to add to your extension to support word art in the in the text uh, story say text. Wait a second. I've been thinking about this. If Richard took 15 minutes and Shannon took 15 minutes, and I take 15 minutes. And this game takes 15 minutes. That's a yeah. good point, Joey. <laughs> yeah, I thought about that. I figured we'd wing it. <laughs> um, how much time should we have at the end for presentations? Um, uh, let's let's just do like the last 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah. So maybe Vivian, you want to take sure, it now? Sure, sure, sure. Here's yeah. my screen. Okay, so I'm making a presentation on duck ownership. Now, I don't know anything about ducks, but that's not gonna stop me from saying things like they're facts. So, so far I have like this museum set up. So you walk through and then you have like the little like audio icons that you have in museums so that you know, you know, you can like listen to facts. So, and then I have like different slides up. Um, and I don't have any debug commands like shit. So I can't really test my code um, without just looking at all the presentations. So I've already done the first slide and I'm just um, doing the text for it. So first off, what is a duck? It's a mammal. That's not true. Fact, <laughs> not true. What is a duck? Ducks have Three defining features. Mine is just going to be my representation. Mm -hmm. One, their bills. A platypus has a bill. There's three. You have to have all three. It's an and statement, Richard. Okay, not an or. That helps me understand. 
Okay, good. One, their bills. Two, their feet are webbed. Maybe I should say they. They have bills. They have bills. And most importantly, okay, now let's make slide three. Oh, wait, oh man, just kidding, I forgot I had another fact. Ducks have four defining features. <laughs> okay, now when they overlap, okay, so I have different numbers for each thing. Um, okay, so ducks are typically shorter than most people. If you see something that you think is a duck, but it's taller than you, watch out. Can I do a screen shake there? No, it's probably not a duck. Now let's make slide four. I, I like that I started off with a numbering scheme and I've abandoned that by this slide. Um, let's make another slide. They're all called slide one, that's fine. Okay, what is this slide gonna be? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a duck quacking. I didn't want all the ducks to be the yellow ducks because I don't know if there's actually yellow ducks in real life. I think those are ducklings, but I can't picture a fully grown duck that's all yellow. Tell me if I'm wrong. But I know there's a mallard. There must be a duck. Well, I guess they're brown, which is like kind of yellow adjacent. Mm. <laughs> Disagree. Brown is worse. <laughs> and most iconically, ducks have a nice quack. If you see any an other animal quacking that's not a duck, let me know. That's suspicious. <laughs> Do you think I should write the word quack out? <laughs> Do I have no space? I'll, put, I'll do a hyphenation situation. Ack. I have lots of slides to get through. This is okay. Oh, I need to make more tiles too. Oh. Maybe my presentation should have been what is a duck and not <laughs> how to take care of a duck. It's not focused. It's okay, I also spent too much time on my art. Uh, I made a really good framework, I feel like, for making presentations. That's my issue, you know? The code was just too good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> as is often the case, you know, for our streams. Four, let's make the screen bigger. Yeah, now it's a really big, before it was a big hike from slide one to slide two, but now they're closer together. Slide three and slide four needs to move over too. Okay, slide five. <laughs> I think I have, I have four minutes. Slide five. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I feel, I feel the time crunch. Ah. Five. Okay. Now I gotta make the slides and I gotta make the text. 
maybe for the last ones, I, I won't, I won't have, I won't have them saying anything. I'll just do it myself. But I do gotta, I do gotta make the slides. Uh, five. What is it? Okay. I'll just, I'll just do the like most important thing since I don't have that much time. Don't feed your duck bread. <laughs> Classic misconception. Um, too many carbs are bad for them. And I want to make the duck look tired because it's like so full, you know. Oh, I want, oh, I should have put in iconic ducks, you know, <laughs> to really make the reader believe or the viewer believe that ducks are important. Too late. slides now we gotta make the text good thing I have such a good framework oh, let's slide four again <laughs> bread that's too much carbs give them nutritious nutritious how do you spell it stuff like seeds and berries that's gonna be overlap five And that's it. That's my presentation. It's time. Okay, I'll go first, and then everybody else. You better be ready. Can I go last? You can go last. Who wants to go after me? Joey or Shannon? Um, I just broke everything. Give me one second. Okay, Joey, and then oh, I want to do an animation. Okay, I'm going to do a really, 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 really quick animation. Don't you even worry about it. You know, if I didn't even say that I was doing an animation, you probably wouldn't have known I was doing it. So I'm gonna just do it. I'm just gonna just do it. I'm just doing it. Just doing it. Oh no. Just kidding. I'm not doing an animation. It's not 16 by 16. Okay, just pretend that there's a walking animation, okay? Okay, everybody. Welcome to my talk about ducks. Let's go. So, you have ducks on the mind. You see them at the park and smile. You think to yourself, what if I didn't have to go to the park to see a duck? Well, you're in luck. Let's talk ducks. Duck luck. <laughs> First off, what is a duck? Ducks have four defining features. One, they have bills. Two, their feet are webbed. See, you can see in the, in the diagram above. Three, ducks are typically shorter than most people. If you see a, something that you think is a duck, but it's taller than you, watch out! It's probably not a duck. And finally, maybe their most iconic feature yet, their quack, quack. Don't feed your ducks bread, that's too much carbs. 
give them nutritious stuff like seeds and berries. That's it. <laughs> Guys, I feel so ready to own a duck. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad. That's that's the dream. <laughs> okay, Joey, you ready? Uh, I need like 15 more seconds. So I'm uh, drawing my last slide. Um, so uh, I'm just, uh, you know, you know, just look away if you don't want spoilers. Right? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Um, I, I can guys, keep talking duck. Wait, 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 wait. Guys, we're so good at time management. Yeah, we are. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I'll just like leave this one as is and I'll fill it in later and I'll, I'll narrate it myself. Yeah. So yeah, let's yeah. go back here. Ready? Should I switch to your screen? Then, sure, sure, sure. Okay. Joey, you're up. Okay. So I'm loading it in and it's got my whole, um, thing. Eventually it'll come. Um, eventually it's going to load here. There we go. Blink effects. <laughs> um, it's going to do, I think I added up too long of a pause just now by accident again. I keep on adding that. So I got my little fade to black, and we introduced the speaker. So this is me. This is Joey. Hello. I'm Joey, and today I will be talking to you about blankets. Uh, blankets are a fundamental part of keeping yourself warm and comfortable through vicious winters and harrowing nights. Uh, but, 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 uh, I forgot to remove that pause. They also provide a sen necessary sense of security, great for keeping yourself you safe in dangerous times. Uh, I gotta move that text box down. And this ghost is gonna be like Casper now. Um, anyway, that's my presentation. I got too hung up on drawing uh, a proper character, so that's that's all I got. Uh, I'm I'm gonna add the part about like the, the, the other types of beds, but you know he's got he's wrapped in a futon, so I got that one done at least. Mm -hmm. Nice. I like how the face has expression. I feel like that means um, that I can relate to the characters too. Good. That was the intention. Nice. Okay, Shannon, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I haven't really run this code all together, so we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're live. It's an adventure. <laughs> Um, okay, cool. Here's my presentation about rivers. Um, rivers. All right, yeah. Um, so your guide to this river presentation is a boat. Um, and you can set sail. Um, so here we have a river. Um, and the one river fact that I really want to communicate um, is that you think of a river as something that's like in the landscape, but actually the course of a river changes um, a lot over its lifetime as well. Um, the end. <laughs> Shannon, what is this code that's running right now? Well, it's it's got a sprite moving down the screen um, and it's just coloring in like a line behind it with some, some like, um, randomization on the velocity so it's like slightly curving uh and then i change the color after it finishes one cycle i love this so much this is how if you've seen diagrams of like people have um i don't know maps of like where a river has been in the past um and it looks it looks cooler than this but you can see like the like ghost of like previous river courses below the current path of the river River goes. Wow. <laughs> what a beautiful. Wait, wait. Are you... Do you take questions? Oh, uh, I, I can. Yes. What's your favorite river? Oh, man. I don't actually know if I have it. <laughs> um, the Mississippi is the river I know the most things about. Mm. Well, but I don't know things about very many rivers. I think the Columbia is here. Columbia is a cool river. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Okay, Richard, you ready? Um. Yep, I'm ready. Wow. Okay, here we go. You're live. Okay. Let me just finish out my dialogue real quick. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. 
Oh my gosh, I forgot. I'm not looking at it. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Hello there. It's so wonderful to see you today. <laughs> I hope you're excited. It's not every day you get to visit the Hall of Tarts. <laughs> I'll be your guide today. You can call me the Cart Tartgrifer. <laughs> Well, let's get started. Here we see Old Custardy, <gasps> the world's largest tart. <laughs> it was constructed in 1837 by a team of 23 bakers. Upon completion, its beauty was said to be such that no one would raise a fork against it. <laughs> As such, we can still enjoy gazing upon it today. As you can see, it has not decayed. Many have speculated about this phenomena, but no consensus was made. Personally, I like to think that the universe wouldn't let a tart like this go to waste. One day, someone worthy of eating it will appear. Could you be that person? No. All right, here we have a galette. Once feared in the tart community as a heretical offshoot of Danishes, galettes have now been accepted by most tart experts. Instead of a short crust, galettes have a folded flaky pastry. It's important that the filling not be covered. Otherwise, it would be a pie a pie! I know. I also hate the very idea. This galette features a sour cherry filling and not custard base. Well, that's all I have prepared. I will now take questions. <laughs> I feel like the discovery of the galette connects the lineages of tarts with pies. Thoughts, Richard? Um, get out of here. No pies and tart in, in the Hall of Tarts. <laughs> uh, as you can see with my tart versus my galette, I spent a lot of time on the tart. The tarts? <laughs> and I spent roughly 30 seconds on the galette at the end. <laughs> okay, but the tart looks amazing. Um, <laughs> Iconic. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how the tart turned out. Also, the, like, uh, cording for the museum exhibits. Um, extremely yeah. good. No, I'm, I'm glad with all of the sprites that I made, except for the galette, like I said. <laughs> I wish I had spent some more, more time on it. Also, I need to cover up the other tile. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think what, maybe I'll... Tr Vivian has a question. I have a question. Yeah, Vivian. What, what, what is fruits it? are on your fruit tart? Oh, yeah, let's go, look, let's go take a look. Yeah. Um, well, we got strawberries. Um, obviously, there's a kiwi slice, and then these are blueberries. Oh, classic. I was going to put a mandarin slice up here, but um, I couldn't, with the orange, I couldn't mm -hmm. get it, you know, like, right, without making it really small. So I gave up. <laughs> nice. Um, I think we're at time. But, you know, everybody claps all around, golf claps. Um, snaps, um, woos, you know, good work, everybody. Love to see it. Um, wait, Richard, you want to, you want to, you want to outro us out? Sure. Um, yeah. So make sure you check out the forum. You'll be able to look at all of our, um, prepared presentations. Vivian's going to post them up there mm -hmm. and hopefully learn a little bit about the, the, the story extension in the process. Yeah. Um, I'm Richard at Richard on the Makeup forum. I'm Jim at J Wonderl on the Make Code Forum. I'm Shannon at Chacal on the Make Code Forum. And I'm Vivian at Lift Cheerful on the Make Code Forum. Feel free to make presentations yourself and post them in the forum thread too. We would love to learn more things about things. 
Yeah, if you make any really good ones, we might show them off on stream. <sighs> okay, nice. Okay. No, no promises. No but, promises. You know. mm -hmm. But make it really good. Okay, see you guys Monday.